Underwood. Thin Ice! <laughs> To smoke some weed and shut up. My god. Oh, I thought for sure. There it is. Boom! Yes! All right. What's up? Happy Sunday. Early one. It's not 8 o'clock at night. So. Is this the first during the day watch party of the season? I feel like we had another one, but I could be wrong. I feel like you're definitely wrong. <laughs> okay. What other day game do they have? Uh, Tennessee might have been the only other one. We didn't do that. So I know. Good stuff from you there, swinging it. It is cold place. for Scum. Real cold. It's not too What's bad. Up, David? This weather's nothing. Warner, how you doing? How are we feeling about the game today? Ethan's already saying we're going to lose, so he calls me negative all the time, but he's already saying we're going to lose. That's just something you say before the game. So get it out <laughs> the last two minutes and 20 <sighs> seconds of this Rutgers Michigan State game is going to take forever, even though it's a 16 point game. It better not. So oh, you like, right there. Okay. They didn't call foul. <laughs> Thank God. Don't foul I'll here. Call one here. That went off his body. There's no way. This guy's ready to get it over with. Tim. <clears throat> and they said 10 minutes till two. How are you guys feeling good about the game? Good. Good. <laughs> What's the temperature in Champagne? Let's give it a look. Negative 39. It's probably colder. It's north of us, right? So. I and I, Steve. I'm ready for a low stress game. Yeah, that would be nice. Champagne uh, minus four feels like minus twenty five. Same as here, then. Here right now is minus twenty three. Minus a little bit warmer. <clears throat> minus four feels like minus twenty five here. <laughs> See, that's a nice try. If we could bet on in-state teams, I would have taken Illinois minus eight and a half. That's confidence. Quacko, what's going on? All right, I'll see you pretty later. Entertainment chat. I always do. That's what I'm here for. Booker, Xavier Booker's playing. Hits a three. Glad Izzo's putting him in at garbage time. At least we're going to start on time. Nice little blowout before. He's going to hit another one. Watch this. Uh oh. Uh -oh. You guys think DGL gets any minutes today? I haven't seen his hands very back. Moretti's back, by the way. I don't know if you guys all saw that. I'm saying he plays less than five minutes. Booker's transferring at the end of the year, right? Feels like he's been checked out for a little while. I don't think he hasn't been played much, I don't believe. Which is crazy because what their center scored two points against Illinois, their centers have not been good. Sissoko and tell your guys' name. Who plays more today, Nico or DGL? That's a good question. Uh, can either of them guard? I, I think DGL has a better chance to guard 
Jameer. So probably DGL. You know what's going to happen, folks? <clears throat> Nico's not going to play. Everybody's going to play. Jameer's not going to be guarded by anybody other than Rodgers and Harmon. Yeah. It's a fact. <laughs> oh was it God. like a walk-on or something? It was Izzo's kid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Izzo's just standing. That's got to be embarrassing for yeah. Izzo. Entertain you? I I, I wasn't entertaining his kid looks enough. Like a, his kid looks like a 33-year-old financial <laughs> guy on <in> Wall Street. <laughs> That's going to be the biggest explosion of the season at that arena. <laughs> We should have done that when Tyler Underwood scored. First points, I think they just said first points. Bit of his career. Bit of a charity case. <laughs> that was a nice shot. How small he looks out there. Is those kid like <laughs> Is that guy five five? <laughs> I mean, is it short? I'm looking that up. All right, easy win for Michigan State. Good bounce back. How tall do you think his son is? I'm looking it up. Probably, I mean, it's probably deceiving. 5'7? Five, 5'8. Five, five, eight, 160. So, yeah, he's probably 5'7 then. If he's listed at 5'8. Probably 5'6. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Matt, 24 is going to feel embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know how you call a foul on him there. <laughs> like, He's just standing there, isn't he? I mean, <laughs> kick him off the team. How was that a if, foul? If you're Pico, if, if you're Pico, you got to kick him off the team. <laughs> he was holding him to not let him get around him. Yeah. Other, I'm talking about a 5 8 30 year old. <clears throat> Izzo's got to be sitting like, Jesus Christ, why did I put him in the game? <laughs> to give him his first points. <laughs> 24 uh, Williams, that's one of Rutgers' best scorers, too. Just got cooked. Andy Katz touching Izzo like that. Izzo can't like that. Could we move into the top five with a win here? Those I, are nice pullovers. I don't think so. Doubtful. I think seven is maybe the highest. Yeah. You like that green color? <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like that. it. <clears throat> I'm a fan. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think that they can. Even with those teams, all those teams lost on the road. Got to think UConn's number one, right? He's pushing down on Izzo's shoulders. Well, he's done now. Izzo probably is like, okay, dude. Get off it. <laughs> yeah, UConn. Yeah, you got one. a long way to go. You're two and four. UConn number one. I, UConn is fourth. They haven't lost or fifteen two. They have to be right. I would say you go UConn one, Purdue two. Kansas stays at three. Wait, who's number five? Tennessee. Lost. I don't even know what you do. Like Houston's lost twice, so they have to go back to like four or five. Who's six? Oklahoma was nine. They've yeah, lost they, twice. Yeah. Who's six? I think it's almost to the point where everybody's losing to where it's going to help some teams. Like, right, like yeah. Kansas might not drop at all. And Purdue might only drop well, one. Like I said, they're, they're losing on the road. They're not losing at home. Makes a difference. Kentucky lost. Mm. North Carolina won. So North Carolina's going to go up to like four probably. Yeah. Arizona lost twice or did they lose once? They, they lost, lost last twice. night. Yeah. I They could be six. Illinois could be six, I think. I kind of think Duke's going to move up a bit. Yeah. What a mess. <laughs> TCU for national champs. TCU would have had a win at Kansas if they didn't get hosed by the refs down the stretch. That's true. Are students back this game? Yeah, like that matters. 
Everybody lost in the top ten except UConn, North Carolina, and Illinois hasn't lost yet. It's not jinxed. If we win, I think we get to seven. Yeah, seven seems reasonable. I'm also not. I just want to win, you know. That'd be cool. Yeah. White scripts. I mean, if they lose, they're probably 21st. So No, if they lose, they'll be like 11. <laughs> Marquette lost, and they're right behind them. Can't lose that one. Everybody that Illinois played the non-conference is looking pretty bad right now. Yeah. Tennessee would have lost yesterday if they didn't make that insane comeback at the end of Georgia. Marquette Marquette's keeps losing. losing. Sean Jones out for the year with the ACL. Florida Atlantic lost to Charlotte. They would have lost to Tulane if the refs didn't bail them out at the end with a call on a three. Not good. Uh, it looks like the kid, the students are back. Gary A lost the tip pretty handily. Shocking. Did he jump? I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the, he did, yeah. watching the student section. Reese just drilled it back. Orange crush. Hawkins on Reese. I didn't. Is that his offhand? Isn't he a lefty? Uh, that I don't know. I think he is. They're pressing. Full court action. That was a tough press to break. Brad loves it when teams press him. Keep doing it. I think he liked it more when they had Seven Shannon. and OER or something like that. He liked, oh. <laughs> he liked it more when they had Shannon. That's true. Well, zone action. Nice cut by Damask. Very nice. Two to two. Both these teams, top 25 in efficiency on defense. <clears throat> Illinois top 10 on offense. Maryland not even close to that. That's because they've struggled from three. So hopefully they don't Undercover. decide to make a ton of threes today. They're just going to attack Coleman. Seems. Reese looks a lot bigger than him, even though he's only an inch taller. Listen. I'm saying that's defensive player of the year. Coleman Hawkins right there. What are you doing? I mean, Reese shoved One Coleman. Block. Reese shoved Coleman after the block, <laughs> and then they didn't. So, rightfully, Illinois ball there. Coleman for three. Mm. Okay with that shot. Like he short armed it a little bit. It's a good contest. Yeah. Thought it was gonna go in. Fans making a lot of noise. TV's on five, and you know you can tell. <laughs> can uh, everybody in the chat hear the TV? Just for reference. Probably. Rebound. I mean, force tough shots. That's good. Ooh, good. He wanted it. There, there's no way he could make that pass. I mean, if anybody would try to do it, it'd be Coleman. But wow. Coleman posting. Good pass to Gary A. Oh, man. They're letting him play, it looks like. It would have been cool if Gary A made that. They cannot hear the TV. Okay. I'm sure that's, yeah. Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> Gary A and Rogers. Oh, about that got switch. There. Good they thing they didn't it. make that. <laughs> go. Now go. Kick it. Oh, Hit I that. Good eat. Yes. Why wouldn't Rogers shoot that? Come on. <laughs> In rhythm. Hit, let Ty hit the three. Best Coke ever, Coke Zero Sugar. Really? That's what it said in the thing. Oh. Oh, that's what you were drinking. That's why you said it. Yeah. Travel. Gary. Clearly. What is going on? Thank you. They, they're See, really trying to attack Coleman. This is Reese just cooked him on that first possession, and then the last two, it's been like, what the hell? Uh, you always come through loud and clear, Nathan. All right. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I took a shot at him on Friday, so <laughs> it's all right. I'm surprised Geronimo transferred. Did he get pretty good playing time? Just worried that Indiana had too many guys coming in? There's a lot of guys kind of similar to him there. That's true. Yeah. Max posting up young. I don't know. If I, I guess he probably 
Boom! Luke two two. I think I think Geronimo probably transferred before Mbako committed there, right? Because I feel like Mbako or whatever the hell his name is committed kind of late. Yeah. But I don't know, maybe Geronimo, you know, just want to change the scenery. Oh. All right. <laughs> Jump ball. Uh, he said this is fly the dub to change his handle. I Ethan figured that out in yeah. the podcast. Yeah, I, I know, I know what's what. He's smart. Uh by the way, smart man. Coleman never thinks he fouls anybody, but I will say Edie against Nebraska looked like Frank the Tank trying to chew his jersey after that call. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Insane mob, what's up? I and I. Let's go. They're emphasizing Julian Reese. He's taken like four shots. And then the guy shoots free throws like that, but he's going to make them. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, I mean, I I think it's crazy they're attacking Coleman. But... I want to get him in foul trouble. Test, uh, That's test true. Dane. They want Dane in the game. Is well, Hey, did anybody see his hands very available five. today? It does. I'll go look and see. It doesn't look like it, right? I, he's right next to Max. What's Sweats, that right? Coleman? Yeah, that's him. What, who's he talking to? Like, what the hell's Coleman doing there? God. How do you let that that offensive rebound? Right there, tell him to happen. bench something, or what was he doing? Hands very down. Thank you. He's probably saying, "Hey, box out, guys." That was the easiest <laughs> offensive rebound on a free throw you're ever going to see. That's unacceptable. That nice. possession was the same thing as giving up a three. That's a foul. A one. Nice little board by Goody. I know it doesn't count, but <laughs> they do the under sixteen at sixteen. Okay, that's right funny. at sixteen. Do, do I put the score? Uh, what's Coleman? What? Whoa, that's a violation. Okay. Yeah. That's, never mind. Well, I clearly a violation. I mean, that guy's. Jumped in the lane <laughs> before the shot was taken. That's crazy. What's the score? 8 5? That sounds correct, yes. 8 5 with two free eight, throws. 8 5, two free throws coming up. There you go. Put a 1 H in parentheses. <laughs> wow. All right. Entertain the chat. Talk about the Iowa caucus tomorrow. What do you guys think of the Iowa caucus tomorrow? Don't, don't actually do that. Oh. <laughs> who who are you voting for? I Iowanians. Guys, does Ethan leave more than anybody? What's going on? Is Ethan going to do hockey at halftime again? I don't think so. <laughs> free throws a day. He's definitely not doing free throws. I don't think the garage is cleared out. So I don't think he can do hockey. I don't know what he's going to do. Shoot. I think they got a, a car in the driveway back there. Arm wrestle? I'd lose that. I'm weak. Blue Goody reading the newspaper. <laughs> A putting contest? Should have brought my little put putting thing. We could do the Daily Dozen at halftime. <laughs> we could discuss TSJ at halftime. <laughs> I my putting mat, to my putting mat's really dirty. Mm. And I'm also a way better putter than him, so it's not fair. <laughs> if he lines me up. That's true. That's where I turn into uh, a European Ryder Cup player. <laughs> <sighs> I 
How many points from the Whites so far? All of them? It's at least seven. It's all of them because Damask has three. Yeah. Has six. The other one was Damask. Uh, How about the other guy line? show up? <laughs> Where's Gary missing a layup? Hawk is that beard. He's going to shave it after this. Packers Green Bay loss. game. So. Uh, Carl's here. What's going on? 93.1% win probability. Did you, see, uh, Carl, did you see Carl's comment in the episode from Friday? You're going to want to check that out. My God, Carl, that is so easy. You gotta, Carl, we would never you ban you. He was agreeing a lot with you in the uh, this, uh, the comment section of the last episode. He was. Uh, Terrence Chan's still not back, though. So It's all right. Oh, I that like is a tough shot. He usually makes those, but Illinois is allowing a lot, like a like these little cuts to the rim. Like that was a wide open dunk. Like they are lucky that that was missed. Got to like, clean some things up here. This guy a shooter. That is an ugly shot. If he is, I don't know if anybody on the team like except Ty Rogers Rogers shooting. shooting. Throw it up to him. Oh, I don't not like that. Yes, I do. I love that. I love that from Goody. Luke Goody, three for three from deep. Three God right now. That was. A- <laughs> I mean, he's feeling good. He is. I was like, we needed a Luke Goody game. That's a hard shot to make. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all his momentum was going for. But if you're feeling it, you might as well try to make that. What are we game. doing, Gary? A? What was he doing there? That's that's the third time that they've gotten lost in the underneath like that. I don't understand where Gary a was going. Dane time. Get Dane in there. Shoot it, Luke. <laughs> 13 7. Good call. I, I thought they were going to call it on Coleman. Coleman thought they were going to call it on Coleman. He's got his arms up. Was this game sold out? I think it was. Shout out to the people traveling in the weather. I traveled just for you guys. I got back just for you guys. You're welcome. You want a trophy? I do. Harmon in for Damask. Got the throw going back. He does. Got rid of the rose. He was making shots with the rose, looking That's like true. D Brown. Oh, Luke wanted <laughs> to shoot that. Wouldn't have hated it. Oh, Jesus. High it's attacking. Assault. Great Beauty. cut. Quincy. Great cut. Did you see the Bayheim was laughing about Brad Call? We, we did that quote, didn't we? They call him Quincy an elite defender and he was laughing. We did that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, little, it's a little over the I mean, yeah, sorry, no, you, they don't play real defense at Syracuse. You just play zone. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Way out there, huh? Young. Rebound? Oh. Just got to hustle, boys. Come on. I'll let Rebound. It oh. Bouncing. That was a bounce. That was a bounce. That was a, that was a travel. There, there go. we there go. go Fred's not going to be happy about that. Yeah, that second one was. Go, go. Yeah, I like the aggressive. Oh. Luke! Get back, get back. What's the score? 15 7. 15 9. Illinois, sorry. Orange crushed with their arms crossed. Ethan sounds right. Dane should be getting in there soon. Totally. There he is. Here we go. Dane time. Give it to Luke. <laughs> he wants the ball. Let him shoot from the state farm. Sit down. Tell him sit down. Got some crossed arms going. Yeah, now it is. Pretty good at that. I don't know where this possession's going. It's not going well. He had to get that off quick. That's. I don't know if he had to do it as quick as he. Did. I know, but yeah, he thought that he had to. So. Pay attention to the clock, Justin. <laughs> He's standing in the corner. You can see it from down the other side. Coleman, 15-11. Offense is not looking good the last two times now. They should have had a bucket, Goody, on that comeback, that put back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move, guys. Let's move. Give it, to Give it to him. Shoot it. <laughs> Okay. That's so disgusting. Okay. Like that spin move is like his bit, his his one move he uses the most, and mm-hmm. nobody can stop it, unless he's going to the left. He did it to the left earlier and missed. Rebound. Uh, don't push, Goody. Push. <laughs> so they're not putting 
a guard on time. They are putting up. That's a shot. That's a shot. 2011. That's <laughs> hey, the wrist is feeling okay. It's not even taped up. Illinois, 60% from three. My <laughs> Maryland. And why? Like, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense there. Uh, Come 12, on, Carl. 12, I'm like for that. 12 6 Illinois since the last time. 2011 St. Louis Cardinals World Series 2011. Luke from Indiana, like me, but it's always go Illini. Hey, oh. Has anybody seen the uh, Ted TV series on Peacock? Ted Have you watched TV it? series. Yeah. Seven episodes in season one. Like the little teddy bear it's, thing? Yes. Seth MacFarlane's back. I actually never even seen the movies. Is that bad? Huh. It's very funny. It's a, it's a comedy that is uh, something you're not going to see these days. Are you a written fan of the jokes. movies? Did you like the movies? Yeah, I assume. I saw the movies several times. I was right in my wheelhouse. You know, I was probably in junior high for the first one. Yeah. The second one was kind of a flop, but I thought it was okay. Seth MacFarlane's great, obviously, family guy. Got to clean up the rebounding. What's the differential? Who cares about the game right now? Let's talk about the series. <laughs> Thoughts on the whole? I mean, uh, I've never, never even seen the movie, so it's tough. Thoughts on the whole? Uh, Nine to eight, Maryland's leading. Well, they got three in one possession. That yeah, two of them Illinois won. seems to do that a lot. Like, there's one possession where the other team gets three. It's usually the bounces, according to Ethan, though. So. Sure. What are you looking at? I got a message to deal with there. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Illinois 4 of 6, Maryland 0 for 4. Have we lost power They've all been con contested. Have you lost any power this week? I don't know. I'm trying to jinx it so we can get out of here. We have a generator, lose though. Power right now? Yeah, I was making a joke. Can you lose power for it being cold? Why not? This cold? Something's got to, something, you know, it's freeze the wires or whatever. Oh, yeah. That know. makes sense. No clue. Wind and stuff is very windy. I mean, is the electricity day. hot? So. Is it hot enough for this? The wind can knock it out. That's true. It's not windy, though. It was the other day. It was windy yesterday. I, what I find interesting is I would say at this time on Friday, it was 43 degrees. And it's now in the negatives. Just, uh, just 48 hours later. Hinkle says he needs an update on the in intern search. Uh, he didn't message us back. Yeah, it's, so. it's over. <laughs> he apparently probably watched one of the episodes and he's like, I don't want to work with this Ethan guy. I'm not working with any divas. So... <laughs> Anybody wants to be an intern? You know, uh, speaking of Let's stuff know. that speaking of stuff that matters, if you if you like Family Guy, you'll like this uh, Ted show for sure. Seth MacFarlane, so you know, great, great stuff. Everybody, check it out. We got to get all the good reviews so we can get a season two. We good. It's based in uh, Farmingham, Massachusetts, 1993. So it's a bit of a throwback. Do you have to watch the movies to understand it? No, I mean it's a prequel. Oh, okay. But I would say, just in the way that Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad are, I would say you should probably watch Breaking Bad before you watch Better Call Saul. But okay. That's just me, even though Better Call Saul is before it. Right. I guess you could do it either way, but, you know, whatever. It's cool. It's way more important than this. Carl, what's Goody's career high? 12? Points? I don't know. I feel Carl like said he's, he's headed, to, headed to a career high. I mean, he could I feel not like make any more points. 14 at least in a game with, like, four threes. Dane's in. Dane's in. Reese is out. It's probably good. They, their lineup looks pretty big right now. Dante Scott. Gary A just handling Dante. Grab the ball. <laughs> good board by Dane. Nice. Yeah, great rebound. Now get it, get to, it to him. Get it to him. Shoot it. Not there. Now post up, Dane. Gotta love giving your center the ball. I, every time. Every time. Can we post him up, please? Especially with Reese out. <laughs> right. I'm one of the few Illini fans in Indiana, but it's a few of us Illini should recruit the state of Indiana more. Yeah, good Indiana's Indiana. full of shooters. DGL. Why, like, give it to him way up there. Kick it out. Now kick it around. Come on. Good pass. There it is. That's not good. <laughs> good didn't follow that. That that surprises me. That was a good pass by the was, to get He was it. feeling it, I guess. Hey, he, he's allowed to miss. 
three for four. Look at that, plus four. Uh, all offseason, I said that who cares about the European trip? This is a better shooting team. <laughs> and here we are, plus four in three-point percentage. And it's January. Young is going to get going at some point. Good. Why is Goody helping over there? Luckily, Maryland literally can't shoot. Can't make one. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. They're getting good looks. They've missed three or four they should have made. All right. This guy Dang can't time. Dane. There's no Dane way. time. Oh, my. Get him out. Oh, he's already getting out. Never mind. They're going to make one because I said it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Going to make one because you said make it. One. There it is. There it Dante is. Scott makes one. 20 to 14. All right. Uh, Dane, you're gone. I mean, the guy guarding him, like, what the hell was that? Come on. He should have dribbled more. He should try to get deep. Is Dane left-handed? Like, he dribbled left-handed the whole time. He's though. amphibious. Love that. Great. The mask. Nice. 22-14. There's a Donnie Baker joke that I made there, amphibious. R.I.P. Ron Sexton, who was the Donnie Baker uh, actor or whatever. Great comedian. The best Tony Soprano impression you'll ever hear. Anyway, uh, 22-16. <laughs> Can't get a stop. Young, straight to the basket. Dane for three. He's amphibious. He's not a lefty or a righty. But he's season high 16. I mean, does Dane not shoot free throws right-handed like he does? Dane is a lefty? He's amphibious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shoots. He the definitely mass, shoots free throws right-handed. The mass turnaround. But he takes he takes fifteen footers left-handed. So he makes he makes Kofi. That's actually crazy. He makes Kofi look like uh, Kevin Durant in terms of coordination. And his turn, his like hook jump hooks are good job by right Harmon on Jameer there. They're Harmon. Oh, and then they're gonna call that on Goody. <laughs> Disregard all that. It was a good job by Harmon to stop ball on uh, Jameer Young, make him pick up his dribble. It's a good job. Pretty Who wins decent. that game? Iowa, Minnesota. Iowa. Iowa beat Nebraska. Not surprised. 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 Get a stop. 24-18. Can't get a stop. This defense sucks. He got fouled there, did he not? We can't get a call. Give us a call. <laughs> it's nice to see Damask cook a little bit in the first half. Hopefully he carries it over to the second half. Schlagboy says, I wonder how Angel Skinners is doing these days. It's another uh, Donnie Baker reference. Okay. People who like Donnie Baker are dumb, so I'm with them. I don't know if dumb is the right word. It's just, you know, it's not a high level of comedy. And one, give him a call. Carl said he didn't know about the righty free throws. <laughs> I don't have any idea. Carl. He shoots free throws like this. I mean, Maryland is like one of the worst three point shooting teams in the conference. And they literally have well, a starter. Like they have a starter. Nine, right? <laughs> they have a starter who's two for twenty-five. He's putting up them Gary numbers from earlier in the season. How's that? Good. The network going down. <laughs> miss power's going out. How do you miss that, Damask? He made it twenty-five eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> who's got the best shoes on the floor right now? Probably Harmon, right? Harmon or Coleman? Mass four for four from the line so far. 26 18, 8 20 to go. Maryland for three. Good. 26 21. <laughs> Coleman fouled the S H I T out of him. That's two on Coleman. That's two on Coleman. Coleman just, ugh, we need Hansbury. I wish Hansbury was healthy. Yeah. Because I, I can't I see Dish just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that's a good foul. If you're gonna yeah, I mean, what foul him, make him miss. I would sit Coleman for the next. Three or four minutes and then reassess. They're going to jump the lane again. Hopefully, the refs are watching. He shoots free throws like that. It makes <laughs> Dane's back in. Oh, boy. He's got to be. I know, but don't give him the ball. Only <laughs> give him the ball for handoffs. 
four point play. What? What happened? Ethan, don't listen to Ethan. He's just lying. <laughs> Coleman's getting cooked today. Yeah, ever since he posted starting my defensive player of the year. I mean, Julian Reese shoots free throws like. Uh, Schlagboy says Ashton Kutcher has the best shoes because he never uses them. It's true. Those are nice. Kick it. Whoa, Dane. <laughs> now you get teed up for that stuff, bro. <laughs> uh, at least he made a shot. I need Dane to wake up. He hit that uh, like a volleyball. One. Whoa. What, 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 what's, what's the deal here? <laughs> and cook to the basket. We're going to need some defensive adjustments in the second half. I'll tell you that. Need to make some changes. Dane with a nice jog <laughs> for the screen. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, come on. Relax. Who knocked him down? Come on, Marcus. Just Terrible shoot the pass. ball. Just shoot it like he's open. Over Reese. This is a bad half. Travel. This is a – some of these rebounding things are sloppy. troubling. I thought there was a quick three from Maryland, and then Coleman fouled the shit out of him. Yeah, Ethan, don't, don't listen to Ethan. I, just, I only did that once, and people are – 28-24, by the way. <laughs> Six offensive rebounds for Maryland. Yeah. Step slow today. Because uh, they're used to playing at 8 o'clock at night. Different routine. I mean, he's just got his hands all over. Like, can you put two hands on somebody to guard somebody? Is that legal these days? I don't understand this. What's Maryland got? Two fouls? No, they got more than that. <laughs> 13 to 8, Maryland, and since uh, under 12. Yeah, Carl, Jesus, figure it out. Tell the truth. Don't, don't lie. No, 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 no. Nico, Dane, two-man game. Need to see it. Dane is a righty. They're already getting cooked by guards, so. <laughs> hey, if you guys aren't, if you're here and you're not subbed to us, sub to us. We're at 440, 60 away. Maryland's one for eight from three. Illinois is four for seven from three. Shooting 50, 57, 100. Maryland's shooting 41, 12, 75, and they're only down four. Got to feel great for Maryland. Are the students back yet? It looks like they're back. You can't really tell, though, if you're listening. I guess when they go back Tuesday. Way too long of a break. Struggling versus crap ass Maryland. Hmm. I mean, Maryland plays good defense, right? Right, Ethan? Yeah, I do. Oh. 
The mass guarding Youngs. Can stop there. Ty is pushing. Gary A for three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shammered. Tee him up. T Willard up. Don't relax. <laughs> That guy's like, I don't care, bro. He ran into him. He did. Yeah, he literally didn't, ran into didn't, his other didn't arm. Didn't give him the landing zone. Willard has a complex where he thinks he's Rick Pitino, but he's not. What's with Fletch not getting hands very ready to play? I don't know. X spasms are no joke. Or stuck on offense. Yeah, the offense hasn't looked good. Gary, a little strong with the free throw. I don't need to look at you. I clearly <laughs> smacked him on both hands. Hey, coach has got a fight for his guy, though. I respect Gosh. it from Willard. Probably broke his wrist. Probably did. Come on, defense. Oh, gosh. Gary just embarrassed the back cut there. Holy cow. 30-26. 20 of 26 <laughs> points in the paint for Maryland. And the other three are free throws, so they made that 1-3. Oh, we got to have time making those, man. Whew. Call that. Oh man. Fine, fine, fine. I don't even get that from Gary. I mean, Dante Scott's 35 years old. He shouldn't even be allowed to play. Also true. He's probably younger than Gary. Dude, what's with all these things? I don't know. I'm to figure <laughs> I got them on every one. Yeah, let's go to be blocked or something. Yeah. Every account that I haven't heard Ty's name much. It's because he's only made a bat one basket. They're defending him well. I think Scott's been on him most of the game. 30 to 28. I don't think Maryland's played particularly great in the first half. Good call. I don't know what matter. Give us a chance to reset. I did it too well. Are you going Gary at the five here? It will be close to half. Why? Well, it's close now. I think that one's <laughs> back in. Coleman's back in. I, I, I okay. <laughs> this there, you know, they're attacking him. He's directly. Third foul. Yeah. Come on, Damask. Yes. Damask for three. Needed it. Thirty-three points. Step up. I mean, Coleman's gonna get a foul on here for sure. Well, hundred percent. Well, I, I think Coleman's smart enough not to foul. Thirteen for Damask. That. Oh, I hate that. But, okay. Good recovery by everybody until Jerry Young's in the short. corner. That's way short. Whoa! Coleman with a rebound and then assaulted Reese. That's your best third. <laughs> oh, I thought he was passing tie, it to Gary. Tie, cutting, tie, honestly. Tie, tie, tie. The one handed passes are not working very well for Ty. Ty threw 100 miles okay, per hour. Why? Let me like turn over. Passes, all those hand, baseline yeah. corner passes are not working. Baseline to the corner. Those passes are not working. Jokes either. aside, let's see some Nico minutes. Let's not. Come on. Nico cannot play defense here. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Him at least getting a couple minutes. It's not like anybody else can. Uh, you know, Nico's special, guys. You know, he'd be playing if it was N I K O. I think that's cooler. What are these passes, guys? 
the turnover numbers are not going to be looking too strong. They just don't even look like they... Not a lot of effort going on on the line I side. Illinois leads four to one on turnovers. I don't know if you call that a lead, but sure. They can't. It feels like they've Monday. had like 20. So This game should be played on Monday. Why do they have to play on Sunday afternoon? I don't get it. Yeah, that's how the crowd always is. It's a complete joke. Nobody even cares. Our crowd sucks. Pathetic. Bunch of losers. Losers. DGL could drive the crap out of this team. Uh, that's interesting to take. Yeah, Illinois is really sloppy. So much for a low stress game. Eh, first half. Harmon hasn't played much now. Oh. You gotta make smarter passes. You can't just. Keep giving them the ball. Then when you turn it over and not bust back, that's Brad's got to be going crazy right now. If you're there, let us know. Ethan's gone again. Are you guys shocked? Need Damask to step up in the second half? Damask is leading with 15 points or something. What's Ethan's predictions for the Packers today? I don't know. I'll have to ask him when he gets back. <laughs> yeah, Maryland has had our number. Hawkins and Ty, two points. Hawkins has taken one three. Is Hawkins only shot once? That's what I was worried about with Reese. I mean, he's longer. I mean, he's built like Coleman, but stronger. He is already doing a lot. It's good no foul there. Oh, Scott just turned his ankle. Ugh. I'm glad they stopped playing because Gary literally just traveled. His hand will hurt now. He just punched the floor. Hawkins does need to do more. You gotta actually show the. Oh, he stepped on his own. He stepped on. Oh, welcome back. I got lost. BS. Yeah, Hazel wants to know uh, your prediction today for the Packers. Uh, uh, I don't know. We're we're young squad. (laughs) Sounds like a maybe the playoffs are rebuilding. I pick them to win if I pick them, but I don't know if they'll actually win. We got up to 50 viewers, but you left and they all left. So. Good. No more man. This team is annoying. So Scott was down at the other end, and they stopped play as Gary was trapped. And Gary literally traveled right when it happened. Why are they, like, <laughs> what's going on? What is going on, boys? Some of these turnovers are brutal. Ugh. That's got to be th- three on Damask. Oh, the white. Zero field goals in the last two minutes. Tied up. Can't get back on defense. I mean, Maryland is just playing way harder than Illinois right now. They're not playing better. That's the They're thing. not playing better. They're playing harder. 
Guess not what? that good. They have to play harder. But I expect Illinois to show a little bit more. Kind of hard when you have a, a crowd that's all asleep. I lost travel. All right, get to the half within five. <laughs> I mean, this is disgusting. Ethan better be going to find his hard hat. It's close. It's within just in distance. Six to one on turnovers. How many does Damask have? Damask has to have three or four. Oh, they both just left him. What is going on? Dane! All right, Dane, you got to pick it up there, bro. Big steal by Dane Danger, folks. When both, when Gary A and Ty both left the guy with the ball, they just left him. Dane picks him up. Get in your box, Willard. All right. Well, I mean, they keep trying to go back to Damascus, but it clearly isn't working. I need Gary back in the game for some of the uh, cutting to the basket for easy ones. I don't get how they get to lay on top of us. Mass has three of the six turnovers. Sounds right. Can tie make free throws still. Probably not when it's tied. <laughs> they have four turnovers in the last two thirty two before that possession. Money. It looks like he's going across the line before he even shoots it. I scored in three minutes. It's because Damascus is dribbling for 25 seconds and he's 10 feet away from the basket. Yeah, these guys are out bullying Damascus. Damascus isn't going. Goody. One for two. This team's bad. <sighs> They're bad today. Sorry. Holy cow. Like, Dane just wearing like a backpack. Like, look at this. And then, hold on, he hasn't called the foul yet. Now he calls the foul. What's up, Slater? This is a hard game to get up for. <laughs> Why the fuck are they playing on a Sunday afternoon? Stupid. They called that on Geronimo. Was Reese not the guy on his back? Oh, Dane shooting free. Oh, boy. Never mind. Take the foul away. I don't want it. This is a one on one, seriously? Yeah. What's, what is even the point? Boom. Oh, that's the point. He made it. There we go. But yeah, they fell on top of him and then they waited to call it. That's insane. And, and how is that on Geronimo? Oh, and not shit, Reese. Made... Cup by Dane. Get your minutes, big fella. Werner on Twitter oh, said they're jumping around. Should they give nuggets when Danger makes back to back free throws? Yes, they should. Oh, he got a hand. Good, yeah. good call. At some point, Maryland overplaying has got to. Yeah, they got to start calling it, right? Yeah, I agree. It's literally went from they had three to eight. <laughs> well, you got to play hard when you're scrappy little. You know, hey man, he's got two more now, though. Can he make four in a row? I mean, 
Let's see. He's not even going to make the front end. <laughs> That's true. He's got one more. True, true. Money. I can't believe it. We're winning. Beautiful release. What in the hell is happening? Has <laughs> he ever made three in a row? <laughs> he ain't going to make this one, but, you know. Money. Oh. <laughs> you should shut that one. Might as well have shot that with a one arm. Up to. Here we go. Man. 110 Illinois left. Illinois zero field goals Fans in the last 357. trying to cheer. I don't know why they are doubling Young up top. Oh, that's you can't like that, dude. Come on. They're getting cooked on defense. These are two high-level defensive teams in the Big Ten, and there's a lot of points being scored in the first half. There you go. Take. <laughs> I almost feel like Dane did that to himself. Yeah, I agree. No, how do you you can't lose young in transition? Oh, Dane just elbowed him. Well, get out of his face. All the way. There you go. Oh my gosh. You're triple teamed. <laughs> Somebody make a shot, please. Well, the mask fade away here. They're doubling. Why is Dane out of the lane? Do something. He did something. Up to. Get a stop here. Wait, you're standing up like it's the end of the game? I'm standing up to stretch. What I'm are you doing? This whole time. You've been up and down the whole, whole half. Rush. Good foul by Ty right there. Smart. I'm doing my impression of an Orange Crush kid right now. Are we sending Harmon in to foul now or what? Time out. Dane's already played eight minutes. Clock. Does Dane play more than 10 minutes? Major Dane game. Bring in DGL to foul. It looks like they're bringing in Harmon to foul. What are they look under reviewing? They're reviewing to see if Danger committed a flagrant foul on the rebound of the previous possession. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, please. Potential How is that elbow. Possible? Yeah, I mean, he definitely elbowed him. Ha, he didn't no, even touch, he didn't him. touch him. Whoa! How about a flop? Can we get a flop instead? Uh, Wagner said it's nothing. They decide to keep the show moving. Looks like a flop to Sturdy me, said, Sturdy said checking to see if the Dane elbow made contact. It did yeah, not. It Why, no even flop? Close. Why no yeah. flop? Why no flop? I agree. I mean, if the elbow's that close to your face, you might react like that. But, you know, still, it's, you know, the rules of the game. He went like this. Finally, someone cuts to the bucket besides Quincy. Yeah, it, it was Dane. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, that looked good. All right, 39-37. Ah, man, that sucked. It got to be better. You know what? I think they will be better in the second half. That's a prediction right there. I thought this game would be in the 40s, but or like the 60s, I should say. But uh, I don't think that's going to be the case. 39-37 at the half. Uh, Illinois with one of their more lifeless first halves of the season. And if it weren't for Dane Danger, they would probably be down six. Eight. I don't figure out how to defend those cuts to the back. I it's just almost defense looks really weird. I M right O H. That's not a thing. We're gonna go down for about five minutes. We'll be back before the half starts.
of day will be gone for the season if that elbow connected. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. What's going on? Uh, Jeff, we got to bring the ball up faster and pass the ball faster. Have better cuts through the lane. Too much five-out style offense. Maryland is big enough and fast enough to play the perimeter. I don't – the offense obviously had some issues, but the numbers look really good. <laughs> like their points per possession is well. – Yeah. Yeah, that's really the saving of being able to shoot. Got a post up Dane. I agree. I'd rather see him in the post, but they're so, doubling everything, and I don't trust I think, Dane when he gets doubled. So. I think Dane is at eight or nine minutes right now. Yeah. What do you think he finishes with? Twelve. Depends if Coleman gets in foul trouble, honestly. Everyone just stands around when Damascus is playing booty ball. He's not. I mean, your your job there, though, is to stand there and wait to shoot. If he gives you the ball, I mean, that's pretty much what Penn State was doing. Yeah. Dane's played uh, eight minutes. This coach just outcoaches Underwood every time we play them. Nine out of ten of 11 against us. Hey, uh, Kevin Willard has been at Maryland for two years. <laughs> I think this is the second time they've played. And Illinois lost there last year. And Maryland was better than Illinois last year. So get your facts straight. Who said that? Uh, Jordan Hoffman. Yeah, you're wrong. Call him out. Uh, why don't why don't they set an off ball screen for a cutter when Damascus is playing booty ball every once in a while? That's a good question. I Illinois never I you barely ever see Illinois set an off-ball screen. Maryland does have Illinois' number. At, at Maryland especially. At home, usually it's a win. You never know. Live line still minus seven and a half. That's absurd. <laughs> I need to practice on posting Dane up. I agree. Coleman has struggled today. Yeah, Maryland has our number. We definitely struggle against Maryland. I have a strong second half. So Hoops Informatics has the Dane thing where they called the foul on Geronimo. He was clearly shooting. They gave him one and one after Reese nailed him. So they didn't call over the back. They called this where he's clearly shooting and gave him one and one. Sturdy tweet. Did you see that? You're going to love this one. The foul. So they didn't call Reese for jumping on his back, right? Yep. So they called Geronimo here. On the arm where he's clearly going up to shoot. Yeah, that should have been too. <laughs> uh, Sturdy tweeted that when Reese fell on Dane with no call, ref told Underwood that he, quote, jumped over him with no contact. Like, what, what, <laughs> no contact? <laughs> what? By the way, I just tweeted about the Orange Crush. I tweeted, uh, D does the Orange Crush do anything? Question. Jumped over him. That's insane. <laughs> The the last time I called out the Orange Crush, that uh, that that Kilton guy got really offended. So yeah, Colin playing like crap because everyone was talking about how much he looked like a pro last game. Thanks. Uh, Illinois record versus Maryland over the past few years. I don't know. Jordan said they were that Maryland's won nine out of the last eleven. So yeah, Maryland, how true was, that Maryland is. was way better for a few years. Plus, Illinois couldn't beat them at Maryland, and then. You know, it's not surprising. The two wins, I think, are uh, they won in the Kofi Plummer year. I think they also won in the Io year. So I think they won two years in a row at home. I think. I don't know. Ooh. We can't just pretend that Maryland didn't have Cowan and Jalen Smith at in those couple of years and Illinois wasn't going to beat them anyway, even though that year – the COVID year, I think, 1920, the year where there's no tournament. Didn't Illinois have like a 20-point lead on Maryland at College Park and blew it? That definitely happened. I believe so. I don't know if it was 20, but it was a big lead. It's before Illinois knew how to win ball games. It would be Io's sophomore year. I 
I feel like Illinois Twitter is not a fan of the Orange Crush in terms of fans. Like the media and all these people talk about how great they are, but they suck. They really do. They don't add anything. Unfortunately, Illinois is a representation of what these college kids are like these days, you know. <laughs> they don't want to cheer for the team. They just want free nuggets and sit on their phones with their arms crushed, uh, crossed, crushed. Orange crossed. I mean, Hickel, I'll at them if you want. <laughs> I don't really see the, the point. Yeah, you notice that writing Illini fan sided Twitter account just live tweets the women's game that's all confusing because they're during the men's games. Oh, really? So it's just like, oh, huge three, hashtag Illini. It's like, what are we talking? We talk about the women's team that scored 48 against Nebraska last week. Not been good. It's confusing. Okay, they got Reese out on Damas. So, yeah, sure, take it at him. That makes sense. I mean, Coleman's so weak, he can't even jump straight up. <laughs> Crushes suck for years. They just want nuggets. They don't have enough room. Oh, my gosh. Not close enough. Why does Maryland look so much more confident than Illinois? Like, they're not a very good team. Ugh. We're struggling. Struggling to make the shots necessary. <sighs> Maryland looks so much more confident. Walk? Yeah, that was definitely a walk. Four quick ones from Maryland up two. If it's a good look, take it, you know? I talked about going to this game while Illinois was second in the country and guarding the two. They're just getting eaten <laughs> alive. 30 points in the paint for Maryland already. Mm. Damask three, got it. All right. Good pass out by Coleman. What are we doing here? Brad called Brad, Brad, Brad is pissed. Sure. Maryland's just eight absolutely for, pissed. Maryland's eight for ten on uh, layups. <laughs> hey, I like it. That would be a gift later, folks. The best we'll get a lot of who wants to play for a guy like this on Twitter. Pathetic. <laughs> Old Brad is back. I don't think he's left. He hasn't had to do that very much this year. No. Oh, I, he had to be pissed after. Better than this, fellas. Mm. Gotta get some stops. The two man game between Young and Reese is killing Illinois right now. First time we've seen this version of Brad this season. I don't. I feel like we've seen it a couple times. I mean, they just throw women's basketball games on Big Ten Plus. Like, how is that going to help anybody? It's not going to help anybody. If you're going to put them on Big Ten Plus, make them free. <laughs> you're not committed to growing the, the sport if you're going to put games on Big Ten Plus. Hard hat should bring some defense. Pratt's fired up. Yeah, he is. It's not going to do anything. The team still sucks. So what do you think he wanted them to do there? Do you think that it, they needed Coleman to step up there? Block shots. Play harder. Who else can two game two man game them to death in the Big Ten? Let's see. Doug McDaniel and uh, Kumwa. Brad's got to change his philosophy. Well, what? Offense, you mean? I know that you want him to run a different offense, Jeff. You want the team that's ranked seventh in efficiency on offense to run a different offense. <laughs> yes. I 
Uh, Brad is having another one of those moments that some of you will overreact about. It's a tweet here from. Hold your Twitter would talk about it. I something. mean, even saying that people will overreact is talking about it more than you should. You ever said that? That guy. Yeah, how about you? I like how people, Underwood said that their teammates supporting teammates for the guys that showed up in the, the hearing. And then somebody replied, wouldn't it be a coach showing up for, like, Brad is employed by the university. Yeah, yeah. It's insane yes. to think that Brad should be there Step away or that. would be there. Okay, Coleman. <laughs> Good call. I wasn't even a foul. Good call. I mean, I just with Coleman could be strong. <laughs> the Coleman took four steps. There. That was a good pass. Yeah. And Geronimo, I don't even know if he touched a mask. You can't guard Dane the paint? They don't have to because he doesn't play. Or get the ball in the paint. I'll say within the next 10 minutes, this is going to go down again. We're due for another one of those. Mm. This is like a low-key, uh, as the kids say, efficient game from Damask. Yeah. He's doing a lot of everything, making some shots. He's got like Turn it over. 18 points or something. Well, he's probably averaging two and a half turnovers a game, though. So. He got the ball more than anybody. Probably. I know. I'm just saying. You relax on Damask. I'm not. I, I, that wasn't mean. It was a stating of fact. Facts can't be jabs. Titus. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, this is where it kind of gets. That's a great shot. I mean, you make that over. We're getting cooked. (laughs) Illinois is getting shredded. Shoot it. Shamir was 16 already. Ugh. Shoot that coin. I mean, all you did was let them rebound on defense there. That's all he did. Two fakes. <sighs> Why are we trying to do too much? Somebody go up. We're trying to do Five, so four, much. Five, four, three. Good, he's got a chuck. Not that might have gone in. <sighs> They're passing up good looks. Yeah, I don't understand. It's really annoying. And then they don't stop the ball. Wow, they didn't call foul there. Coleman trying to end a life. Almost ended his own. Doug Heffernan replied and said uh, with a Trump gif that said no about the Orange Crush. Did they do anything? No. (laughs) Does he make both one or zero? One. Say he makes the first and then almost makes the second but just misses. Just off the First, barely man. No. Coleman talked about not caring anymore about threes or like that. Yeah, people he's only like, shot once. He had a good look on that last possession. Yeah, just take it. He's only shot once. I don't understand. And it wasn't even that bad. It was on the line. Them. Made them both. Forty-six. Play some dang defense. Illinois fourteen for seventeen with the free throw line. Who are the misses? I mean, they, they screamed three times for Young on that play. Only won't set an off ball screen at all. Is he not just shouldering the crap out of him? Defense. I mean, defense. he's been great on Dante. Dante. Damask. You're not a Southern Illinois turnover? anymore, man. Another turnover? Damask has got to realize he's not at Southern Illinois anymore. We <laughs> can't be turning the ball over like that. The entire coaches, all the coaches of the bench went, when he turned that over. And you got to make that if you're going to be doing that. You got to make up for it. Jesus, oh, Damask. Come on. Pull him, Brad. Get him out. Four turnovers for Damask. That is so annoying. You're just killing yourselves with this. Well, the Illinois that's switching. So that's they're getting the matchup they want for Young and – Kind of going from there. How Illinois tries to do with Damask, but Damask has not found a good matchup in this game. He's scoring efficiently, but he still hasn't. Young trying to back down Coleman is insane. <laughs> like, what is going on right now? He's got to be going directly at him to score instead of back. Come on, him. Ty. I 
I mean, Ty, you can't go after him like that. That's I don't understand why we keep going after like the biggest guy on the team. Okay, just leave guy wide open. Zero field goals in the last three seventeen. Oh. Down one. I mean, DeMath just sucks the momentum out when he turned that ball over in transition. Mm -hmm. Just a terrible play. Why would that be Maryland ball? What is going on here? Is it a trait for the Reese family to be really annoying on the basketball court <laughs> and also really good? Probably. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, Duke players. They're forcing so much on offense, it's insane. What's the score? 47 46? I think so. Oh, 12 0 run or something. Well, Harmon was about to come in before that timeout and play under whatever. <laughs> Maryland 36 14 in the paint. <clears throat> you got to know that some of these teams are going to be playing desperate, like especially Michigan on Thursday. It's going to be a desperate team. Like, why isn't Coleman shooting that? Ugh. Never mind. Don't shoot it. Rebound. Oh, my God. Like, they're just getting out hustled for everything. Two Illini guys standing there with the ball in their hands, and Young just comes and takes it. It's insane. Act like you care, fellas. <laughs> no way that goes in. <laughs> the message or the notifications you're getting was some uh, some fake thing. About oh yeah, it's a bug. Yeah, but they like every account I have: the funeral home, the village. All got the same messages. <laughs> I mean, Did somebody Colin got rebound. yanked on his arm. Colin, his arm got yanked down. <laughs> I think Illinois just can't handle this two man game. It's yeah, like they're talking to me, 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 like they're
Forty-nine, forty-six, Maryland. Missed the last seven field goals. Yeah. Gary can't make a left-handed layup. Apparently. Everything looks so easy for Maryland at the rim, too. It's a credit to them. That only looks so. Sean, what's going on? Hi, Bree. What's the score? Illinois down three, forty-nine, forty-six. I just said the score. Sorry. You're not gonna get a better look than that, man. Rebound! What is Harmon doing? Does he not see the ball? Travel. This team looks awful today. Is it not travel by 11? I didn't see it. You were standing there. Yeah, get that shit out of here. All right, score some points. Somebody make it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, there we go. That, that was big. Huge. Good stuff from Coleman going coast to coast. Jacking up too many threes. I mean, they, they have passed up so many, though. Like... The ones that they're taking are have not been good recently. Gary A's last two were not great, but well, one of them was like two seconds of the shot clock. <laughs> good play by eleven. They're great defense. I mean, if you're Willard, get that guy out of here. Four points for Coleman. Zero oh, for two from three. Dane? All right, old Dane Coleman action. We'll see how this works out, folks. I mean, they are just dribbling around Illinois right now. It's insane. Three. Two for 25 from three coming into the game. Down for 12 minutes. <laughs> I mean, they've made two field goals, you know? And that's the shots we're taking. Good job by Gilly. Brad's going to tear into them in the post-game presser if they lose this game. The guys made three threes this year. <laughs> It's 52-48, Maryland. Two shots coming. For Illinois. What's Maryland doing that is shutting us down? Uh, they're doubling uh, the mask. They're closing out on shooters. Very active with their hands. It comes down to this. <laughs> Illinois is 47% on ducks and lamps. Maryland 72%. Duncan Hathaway retweeted the quote, tweeted the Orange Crush tweet and said, "Getting worse every year." Who did? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody who follows us who has like hundred followers. Oh, cool. But hey, that Kilton guy bitches and moans about it. Ooh. I mean, you go into a basketball game, you should be loud the whole time. Jesus. 
it's literally fucking pathetic that our crowd is like that. <laughs> Especially with the fact that Illinois has been good for the last four years. It's plenty of time to figure it the fuck out. And it's not the reason that they're playing bad, but... I mean, maybe fucking show that you care a little bit, even though you probably don't if you're an Orange Crush person. Wonder when Brad calls a timeout and then goes and pouts by himself today. Ouch. Who said that? Jeff, who thinks said it? Uh, if Goody can get back in his break. little mode. You're blaming this on Underwood, seriously? Only three offensive boards all game is pathetic. What percentage of blame should Underwood get right now for this? Five percent? I mean, maybe just players would fucking play better. <laughs> but yeah, Jeffrey, let's change the offense when they're top ten in efficiency. It makes a lot of fucking sense. You're such a sharp mind. They, they just they, they can't get stop. Like they're plus fourteen in free throw attempts. Like it's so yeah. stupid. Can't get a stop. I mean, they still have an answer for Young. He's just tearing them apart. How does that happen there? That How do we have both bigs in and their biggest, their big gets a open layup? 130 pound big. <laughs> Rogers coming back in. Maryland, <laughs> Maryland is one of the worst offenses in the Big Ten, and they're doing this, destroying Illinois. 40 points in the paint. I'd like to see their points in the paint numbers prior. Oh. He's up. Okay. We can't buy one, though. We can't buy one. Like some of these Damas shots should be going in. <laughs> he said, let's have that discussion, conversation <laughs> after the game, Mr. Ken Pong. <sighs> Carl says you're correct. Stops on me. I mean, Jeffrey's an anti Brad guy. So it's kind of hard to have a conversation. No way. This is lowest of the low. I don't think that was five, though. That was like four seconds. That was really quick. I lost count to five. How was that five? Can we we need to go back after the, the next commercial and see how that's five? There's no way in hell that's five. Rebound. Gosh. Here we go. Rebound. Oh my gosh, dude. This is disgusting. This is their third chance on this possession. Three chances. Oh, and they get wide open three. Terrible. Three chances, man. At least Orange Crush has something they can cheer about. They got anybody can do an air ball chain. Give it back to him. Damask. He waited way too long. Travel. Come on, Justin. It's not going our way. Not going our way. Huh. Short. That would have gone in. That might have been game. I, I swear you need Terrence. He would have already been down there. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Somebody make a shot. Come on, Luke. Nope. nope. Rebound. Give and him one. Give him that. And one. I'm not going to give him that. How's that on the ground? Everything was simultaneous. <laughs> yeah. Two for 19 from the field in the second half. Like, how are Ugh. we how are they even down four? <laughs> it's true. Two for 19 from the field in the second half. Yeah, it's true. This is as simple as just not making shots. You're getting so many good looks. Not getting, not making shots, not making shots. stops, not getting rebounds. That's three things. That's why they're losing. Four, the fourth would be getting outworked, which should not be happening. All right. Boy. Let's go. Oh, let's get the fan. Isn't it crazy that the – Regular fans have to get the <laughs> get the so crowd stupid. going. Ugh. 
<laughs> I mean, you say that you got to win all your games at home, but well, don't you think it would help if the crowd was actually into the game from the start? Like, that puts zero pressure on Maryland from the beginning if the crowd's not going to be into it. That could have easily been a no call, I think. Like, I, the crowd is not the reason they're losing, but Jesus fucking Christ, can we get a little fucking juice from this goddamn motherfucking crowd? It's fucking pathetic. Phone's down. Literally nothing from these fucking losers. Come on. Get Shaquille O'Neal at the free throw line, and then Ty and Luke are about to drive each other out of bounds. Hawkins wide open. <laughs> Hawkins wide open. Gosh! Jump. No way! No way! There's no way that was off of Illinois. That guy sees it. It's our ball. Oh, that guy couldn't even see where the ball was. <laughs> what, the, what was the point of that? Like, unless you saw it better, why are you even talking to him? Show us how we got screwed, you know. Yeah, it's all tie. <laughs> Can't see it anyway. Easy, Ethan. Ethan's getting in his F-bomb mode, so just everybody just be don't ready. see why we have no crowd. When Ellen lays down, neg negative Ethan actually comes out. He always says that I'm the negative I one, should but. be negative in some spots. Or today's just, pretty unacceptable. Can we step up, please? Can we step up once? They're playing a team that they're better than. That's the problem. Down six. Three for 22 from the field in this half. Like, how does that even happen? I mean, they were, this is, they were down six against Michigan State, right? Came back. They should be down 26 right now. You know what Mackey Arena does that this arena can't do? It can take a road team out of the game instantly. Mm -hmm. Think of how loud it was early in that Illinois game. They just sunk immediately. Illinois doesn't have that effect because we have a bunch of fucking losers in the crowd. Make a little fucking noise for once. Like I'm so tired of seeing the Orange Crush just fucking standing there doing nothing. All those... Idiots who were probably born in 2005 or 2004, I guess, need to go watch the Wake Forest game in 05 or 04, I guess that would have been, and maybe see how to do something. Be loud from the start. Eight stops on Race and Young. I, I, that's a, the two man game is absolutely killing. Absolutely killing. <laughs> Six for 16 on layups. It's solid. Harmon and Rogers are taking turns missing. Falling into that top 10 curse. Mm hmm. I mean, they haven't been this bad, though. That's the thing. I mean, it was going to happen at some point, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This is what college – this is the perfect – 44 example. points in the paint. This is a perfect example of what college basketball has been all year. Yeah. Wow, they got a flag. That's so cool. <sighs> That'll intimidate the, the opposition. <laughs> I don't understand how you can make three field goals in 12 minutes, especially when you have a bunch of them being looks at the rim. 
I don't think they've taken that many threes in this half, like six maybe. Shot clock's already under 10, and we got Ty dribbling 20 feet away from the basket. And guarded by Reese. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what you can do. <laughs> that was in the basket. <laughs> I mean, learn how to stop this. Yeah. Shit. How do how are you just letting them just dominate? They're getting the ball. They're daring them to <laughs> like they're just letting them get it underneath so easily. Julian Reese. all game. Coleman Julian Reese is not Zach Eady. No, I mean nobody's down there to rebound Coleman. <laughs> Too late on the pass. Still can't make a layup. Fuck, it's so stupid. Hey, writing a line on. Oh, this guy's pissing me off. Look, look at this. He's tweeting about both games. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate that shit. I'm going to unfollow. Unfollow. Doesn't even follow us anyway. You mean shoot more idiot. threes? I don't know about it. shoot more. But... Yeah, actually, might as well. You make can't make shots. a fucking layup. I mean, or a fucking shots. free throw. <laughs> they got to make the basket. Yeah, they got to make something. The fact that they're making literally nothing is insane. I can't. I never thought this team would go this cold. I mean, I feel like it was going to happen. You don't have a layup or a dunk. Oh, yeah. They've had lots of layups. They've missed. 10 plus. I can tell you, if we've shot 15 more free throws in them, too. <laughs> Still down seven. Coleman's going to get his. Oh, good. Guy wide open in the corner. Oh, hang on to the ball. Oh, my gosh. I mean, they don't deserve to win. No, they don't. Not even close. They deserve to lose by 20, I would say. Like, the fact they're within 10 right now is surprising with the way they play. I just call <laughs> that every time. Uh, Julian Reese is not Zach Eady, guys. I mean, this is tough. But he's cooking us, no doubt. Getting exposed without Shannon. Shannon? I don't know. I mean, they're they're just not making shots. I don't know what. Why do we have to draw such conclusions about every fucking game? Jesus Christ! Who's to say that Shannon will be making shots right now? He's at games where he's barely made any field goals. Oh, McDougal's oh, it's fucking pathetic. Fuck all of you fucking losers in the Orange Crush. Good. I'm glad he made that. You want your fake chicken nuggets. Idiots. You gotta get a bucket here. Somebody's gotta make a goddamn shot. Foul? How does that go? How is that not a foul? He's owned Hawkins all game. He has, that's what I am. It's crazy. Hey, we were a little worried about this. Athletic big. Yeah. With some ability. Rebound. And Coleman's going to get go. like that by Young every time. It's a tough spot. See, this is where we miss Shannon. Pushing yeah. the ball. That's yeah. the only place we miss Shannon, guys. No, no, Shoot it! A, only is a strong word. Shoot Shh. it. Why? That's the, three times he's tried to make that stupid pass. I would pull the mask, I think. I would pull the mask, right? I mean, I know he's good offensively. At making shots, but like, what? What is that? Why mean? was he trying to pass between? Like, that was the worst step. In that the was pass at the other side. That was his worst pass of the day. He's he's made two. Like the other one, luckily he didn't turn over. He's done that twice. There's been a lot of bad ones, but that was the worst one. Down eight now, Carl. <sighs> Left hand layup can't make him, boys. Oh gosh. <laughs> I 
Look at the uh, the normal crowd getting the getting people <laughs> up. You don't see the Orange Crush doing that. This is just going to lead to Maryland making another shot. I mean, I don't even know why we're excited. Yeah, have it, when was the last time they got to stop? They got to stop like two possessions. Ago. I besides that one. <laughs> No way. Good no call. Yeah, out of control. Go. Goody. Uh, Goody. Oh, I don't like that fadeaway at all. Good call. Coleman, nice flop, bro. This is such a confusing Damas game. He has 20 points, but he has five turnovers. The mask player of the game. The college basketball is trash this year. No real superstars, no real coaches, no solid defense, terrible free throw shooting. There shouldn't even be a rankings. No one is worth being in the top 25. Okay. I feel like the most egregious comment there is no real superstars. Like outside of the Big Ten, there's some pretty big names still in the game. Hunter Dickinson. Stupid star. Armando Baycott's a big name, right? <sighs> also, the coaching part, like, there might not have any great, like, I mean, Bill Self's still around, but you got some good personalities in coaching. We got Patino back in the Big East. We got Hurley's a psycho, both Hurley's. They step in it early again. I don't hate where college basketball is at. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, but, problem with sports right now is drawing such conclusions from every single thing that happens, you know? I want to have their opinions. What's the pro this is a fucking problem. There's so many morons with a voice now. It's just like, if you look at the NFL, including us, not to, <laughs> not to the extreme, but if you look at the NFL... It's going to stop. When's the last time they got to stop? If a quarterback has one bad game, we take such... Uh, we make such conclusions about how he's bad. Or how he shouldn't be a star. Like it's it's stupid. It's the same way in every sport now. It sucks. Tie. <laughs> I don't know. I I honestly don't know what happened there. I'd like to see it. <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. I just tried to tackle a guy. All these players went to the Coleman Hawk in the school. I mean, there's nothing there by him. School of officiating. <laughs> Damn. All right, down seven. It's tough. <laughs> They're so flustered on defense. It's One, just three, not a good deal. Like, this – Switching whatever the heck it is is not good. One for 12 from three in the second half now. One for 12 from three in the second half. Boys, it's over. Like, I just don't get that. Like, why Why are we helping off that much to leave a, a shooter wide? I, I don't get it. Because they've been, they've been getting fucking cooked all day in the paint. This is, what, this is the consequence of giving up 40-plus points in the paint. But, I mean, Coleman was on him. He's not going to post up Coleman. Coleman's given up 16 points in the paint. Oh, yeah, but they've all been tough shots. You know what Illinois is doing right now? If anything, we are saving the Big Ten. We're pretty much giving the Big Ten an extra bid here. Maryland top ten win on the road. This is going to get them into the tournament. So, thank uh, the Big Ten office should be calling and thanking Illinois, I would say. You know what I think Brad's going to say after the game? I think he'll make a comment about lack of practice. What do you think? Because <laughs> they didn't practice very much going to the Michigan State game. They only had two days between this game. Well, it's because his team traveled to St. Louis. He's going to say something about the schedule. He's going to say something about the schedule. 
They could have practiced in the morning on Friday, but there's no way they did. What's the percentage, Carl? What's the what's Maryland's win percentage right now? Maryland's win probability was seventy nine. Because you would have eat call it left. if it was the other way around right now. I guarantee it. Totally agree. Maryland win probability according to ESPN is eighty three point seven. Yep. But that's gonna drop ten plus if they make a three here. If Illinois makes a three. Can we get her on the team? Harmon zero for six today. Harmon's been a bit bad. All from now, he took one jumper. Is he over five from three? No. He's missed like three at the rim. Has He's he? probably only 0 for two or 0 for three from three. Okay. What are you not watching the game? I'm on my phone the whole time. <laughs> and let's put it, Illinois is not going to shoot this bad again. I'll tell you that. They're 32% of the field right now. That's like shocking. Harmon's 0 for 3 from 3. And 0 for 3 from shots that are inside 5 feet, pretty much. Pull it, Ty. Yeah, they've been a mess at the rim. I like travel. travel for <laughs> sure. Oh, my God. I just keep handing it off to each other. Oh, what a, what a roll. Down 5. Three minutes. I don't know if they're going to be able to get any stops. Would be. You never call it early against us, only for us. That's fine. My concern. You have orange blood. He just fell, did he not? This is where officials get, like, really weird. Like, why are we even calling that? He just fell over, unless I'm wrong. Contact where? That is a fucking horrific call. like when he almost got elbowed in the face and he fell too. Like We're calling that as the fourth foul for somebody? That is an insanely bad call. Yeah, see? That's why you don't help. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> fell about <him>. Fuck off! <laughs> you fucking loser refs. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> That's insane. The fourth one was insane. Get teed up, Brad. Fuck these guys. <laughs> no, it's not a foul, Robbie. <laughs> the fourth one was like even like way worse. Yeah. I guess if you lose your balance and you fall forward like an unathletic motherfucker, it's a fucking foul. Come on. Obviously, I'm way more athletic than that fucking guy. I want to play him one-on-one -on -one right now. Who was that? Was it this guy? No. Who was the other guy? No, Dante Scott. Yeah, he's fucking unathletic. <laughs> oh, whatever. I mean, you get a foul player out with two calls like that. These refs are a fucking joke. Fucking mail it in late second half. That's all they do. Rebound. The crowd's not going. Look at the crowd, I guys. fucking really hate you so get fucking them much. Nuggets. Oh, I hate yeah, this. Yeah, I'm getting them nuggets. Oh, yay. I wish you would have made that. I, I wish they would have. I honestly wish they would have got the rebound and then. The hell of a block. If that was Shannon, it would have been a slam. <laughs> Gotta love trying to throw a Hail Mary pass to Quincy down five. I mean, what, what are we even doing? Slow it down a little bit. I know you, like, especially with the fact they can't score at the rim today. This is not a good matchup. Oh, how does that go in? Soft touch. Like, <laughs> You're chucking off the backboard. He threw it soft enough to that where it was not it went soft. In. How was that not You're soft? Insane. It wouldn't go in if You're it was soft. That doesn't go in if it's not. Like, what do you mean it went right through the damn hoop? What do you mean? Just drop How about straight collecting in? head fake, huh? A little pump fake, huh? Gary going up with his left again is always good. 
how did he how did he come from out of bounds and get that ball? He was literally out of bounds. So not a rule. You have to establish yourself back in bounds. No, that's not a rule. <laughs> that was soft, by the way. That was soft. Softer, yeah. No. <laughs> He threw it up high enough on the talking. back. Stop he talking. threw it up Stop. high on the backboard Stop. and dropped in. Stop. Let's play one on one right now and see who has a softer layup. <laughs> Probably you, because I'm not good in that area. But still, shut the fuck up, Willard. You fucking. Oof. You know what I think when I think about Jameer Young? Soft touch. That's good. I mean, Kevin Willard's fucking three to twelve on the road. Come on, this loss is a bad look for the team. Yeah. This is a neutral side game with all Illinois fans. That's how quiet these guys are. This has the stench of an Underwood January loss in the Big Ten. I feel like this was happening like every year, like to Ohio State at home. Remember how fun it was when Luke Goody made three threes in a row at the game? Yeah. Good time. Remember when they fouled out our best player, best defensive player, because a guy fell over on his own and then the other guy couldn't score, so he got bailed out? You remember that? Mm-hmm. Ty, you got to go to the ground on that screen. If Ty throws himself backwards, he might get an illegal screen call. It would have been ideal. If he makes that, oh my God. Well, I mean, nothing's nothing's going nothing's going in our in our direction. So bad. They should call that a foul. Have we gotten five percent of the 50-50 balls today? And there's no shot. I'd he swiped. Zero he percent. swiped his arm after a rebound. Don't they usually call that a foul? <laughs> Not. For us, he said he stepped out. He stepped out. Yeah, good job, Harmon. Well, don't lie. But yeah, yank Harmon out of the game. I like how. Why do Why do you idiot Illini fans single out a guy when they're playing bad? <laughs> I kept seeing him take Harmon out of the game. Mm. I know he hasn't made a shot, but he's got some level of value. And who the fuck else is going to play? You want DJ? Oh, put DJ or Nico in <laughs> with their experience. That's great. Yeah, I hate how they single people out in a bad game. <laughs> Down three. Maryland's going to make a shot, I'm sure. Ty's yelling at somebody. That he's like trash. Like... Oh. <laughs> oh. They might be in the lead right now without all the Damask turnovers today. He's been good to score a lot. but Where was the foul? They'll call a foul on you if you play too hard. I haven't done it to Maryland all game. Well, a couple. Not enough, but a couple. I mean, their defense is literally grabbing with two hands. Well, I didn't know you were allowed to slap somebody to get the ball after a rebound <laughs> like Reese did to Gary. I mean, <laughs> is that not a double dribble? Did he not double dribble out there? Like, I covered my face because of how bad that shot was from the mask. Play dribbled and then kick it. Oh my god! What are we doing? Harmon O for seven, dude. I'm in an effort. 
What was that shot by Demac? Couldn't get any offense going when they needed it. Like when they got it down to one possession or down to five, they couldn't get any offense going. Spots to clean up, no doubt. Need to use the next three days to clean some shit up. Sloppy. Reeked of a team that thought they wouldn't have to be the best to win today. Which you would think that people who have been here for a while would drill into their head that, hey, we don't fucking beat Maryland enough. You can't give up 52 points in the paint. Yeah, thing that's on our screen. We can fucking see it, Kugler. Travel. So is, he, is the Orange Crush going to storm the court? Seem like they're rooting for to drop. Who gives a fuck about the rankings? Come on. Goody almost missed that. Lots to clean up, folks. Lots to clean up. You guys are way too concerned about the rankings. This shit does not matter. That's why I love it. We got cold on shooting. Ice cold on shooting. Or were they in the second half? They're not going to shoot worse than that all season. I'll run the numbers. That's tough. I mean, Kevin Willard's a really good coach. They had a good plan today. One that Illinois could not do anything about. But I think it would have helped. See you, Garl. All right, Tim, come on. Jesus. you got to have more maturity than that, both people. But I would always take the side of, uh, of, of the player in this case. Chester doing? I don't think Chester's going to be initiating anything with players. What happened? Tim Anderson was drawn back and forth with him. Oh, really? Get him in a fight. Suspension. <laughs> it was nothing. It was... Oh, Hazel failed to beat the Alana. Oh, you guys cheated. Yeah, you got to win at home court, Wesley. Carolina has won six of the last seven underwear being out coached again. <laughs> I mean, I think people forget that Maryland was supposed to be really good this year. Is that right? Yep. They struggled at the beginning, but. I don't hear this bullshit propaganda. Oh. 
I think one problem that fans have, and it's natural when you're a fan, I think one issue I would look at is like I think maybe sometimes we expect perfection. Um, I think a lot of programs do that. I don't think we have the right to do that, but I think there are programs like Kansas and you know, North Carolina and Duke expect perfection, and you're going to have some ugly ones during the season. And I would say this is probably Illinois' what? First full 40 ugly? Yeah. Because, like, Marquette, that was close. They were in that. Tennessee, that was close. They were in that. Purdue was an ugly 30, probably. Yeah. But, like I said, Maryland had a good plan. We can't sit here and act like Willard's not a really good coach. He was great at Seton Hall. Come on, oh, Tim. Oh, yeah, shake his hand. Come on, Tim. What are we even doing? Like, that's, that's so dumb. I don't know. Harmon's talking smack. Bro, Harman. you guys just got to be by 11 on your home court. This is nine. You just got to be by 11 on your home court. 76, 67. You think that's oh. an eight? That's a six. Nine. So, who do you think's at fault there, Tim or, or Reese? <laughs> Probably the grown man. That yeah, that's fucked that up. Shake somebody's hand. That's that's bad. Brad's gonna have a talk. Gosh, so bad. Can be uh, an apologist for this team after a home loss to not a great team. You I'm know, not. So. I think the way they play is entirely unacceptable, and there's a lot to clean up. Who the fuck's being an apologist? I'm not saying that, you know, they played hard and they lost because Maryland just barely outplayed them. Things didn't go our way. They lost by nine. They played like shit. They couldn't make a shot. They didn't defend hard enough. Underwood couldn't really adjust to whatever Maryland was doing because I just don't think that anything was going to work today. The way Maryland played was great. They got an inside-out duo that not a lot of teams have when they're playing this well because they're both super athletic and – Reese was good around the rim today. Jameer Young can score in a lot of different ways. They sunk themselves by not being able to get stops and make any shots. And that's obviously going to happen at some point. That's the first time this has happened all year for an entire game. Even though I guess the first half offense was pretty good in terms of making shots, but there was still a lot of sloppiness. 50% from the field in the first half. The first half was what it looks like when you're sloppy. 10% in the second half. The first half is what it looks like when you're sloppy, but you make shots. The second half was sloppy and not make shots, and you look horrible. The fact that they lost by it, they were, they were down three with like two minutes, that's that's tough. I, I feel like Maryland probably should have won this game by 15 or more. But guess what? I don't do, we don't do, I don't do this podcast to draw insane conclusions after every fucking game and overreact like all you fucking bozos do. Not all of you. here to drop 19,000 F bombs during. Guess what? Parties. Dropping nukes. What the fuck's the matter? Fuck that. What are you, fucking little kids? Listen, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're listening, they shouldn't be, because we don't know anything anyway. We're morons. I'm a moron. You're, you know, borderline, I would say at this point. Like, why do we have to draw such big conclusions after a game? I don't get it. I'm pissed. I'm. I've said nothing, but they got to win all their home games. They've lost two. I can excuse the Marquette one with the way Marquette was playing in that game, but this one's tough. But at some point, we also have to give credit to the opponent because Illinois clearly got outworked, outplayed, out game planned, out coached. Oh my God, I just used the out coach word. I'm such an Underwood apologist. As if the most uh, requested or watched clip on this entire thing is me calling for Underwood's job. <laughs> Jesus. But we can't just go from one end to the other after one game. They lose like their next two, and it's a three-game losing streak, and losing four out of five. Then yeah, there's a problem. This team's twelve and four, three and two in the Big Ten. This is a year where not a lot of teams have been able to string together long winning streaks. Wisconsin's an example, like the only example right now, I would say. Outside of I guess UConn has been winning a lot, but if you don't, this is what college basketball is. Number four and number seven are the only top ten teams to not lose this week. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, all lost this week. That is what the sport is right now. And if you don't like it, whoever said that earlier complaining about it, then get the fuck out. Why are you even fucking watching when you're going to 
complain about the state of the sport. And 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 speaking like this is much better with the scores up there. So I'm gonna put that up there. Wish the Michigan was home. I mean, there's no excuse with Michigan. Michigan sucks this year. Their program is a complete mess right now. They gotta win that game against Michigan. Is that Thursday night? I think it is. Hinkle, uh, please point out where I was being an apologist. I'd like to see that, given the fact that you fucking think DGL should be playing or you think Nico should be playing. Like, give me a fucking break. Yeah, let's put on our most inexperienced, undersized guards relative to the other guards in the team. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, and by the way, neither of those guys is good at defense yet in this time of their career. But yes, let's let's throw Nico into the fire after being out for a month against Jameer Younger. Let's throw DJ out in the fire after not even playing the last game. Like, come on, we gotta, we can't, no, can't be doing it. Can't be doing it. How the fuck am I? They'll bounce back against Michigan. Maryland is just a bad matchup for us. Quick guards that know how to break. Yeah, it was really quick guard. I mean, the other guards kind of yeah. sit there and shoot. I mean, I think Brad needed to come out with something else in the second half than the, the switching because it clearly wasn't working. And you know what? I'm not going to sit here and blame Brad for not doing that. I, I know. I like. I know that's what their defense is, but it just. I think coaches like work. coaches like Brad who have been doing it for this long are not going to do that. In January, yeah. they haven't done it all yet. But, but do you think that I'm at sure. one point where you have every guy chasing around one guard? Yeah. Where but also, out your whole team? looking at the numbers, you you think you can get away with that because of how bad Maryland is from three, but they made a couple big threes. Yeah. It's just really annoying where the internet's at these days. Like, everything has to be such a big conclusion draw. Like, oh, like, like Tyler Hansbro, who's so fucking stupid when it comes to this thinking they're afraid like it's just if you're gonna look for impressions and clicks just fucking say it like he's the most unprepared person on field of 68 it's not even fucking close he's yeah. a great player so annoying though how we're just like say again please fucking do because nobody thinks you're credible with your fucking uh 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 your voice kermit voice i mean it's fucking annoying well, I come out of this game thinking that Illinois is a fringe tournament team. Fuck up, Hansborough. You fucking. Ugh. I'd like to play Tyler Hansborough right now, one on one in basketball. That's how you get clicks right there, bro. I'm not going to click that. Everybody's leaving. We got nothing to say. Say something. Uh, you Doug McDaniel will play Thursday? At home, right? Yeah. Who, like, Illinois is not going to win the Big Ten. That's the thing. Sure. Like, why why do people care so much about that? The one focus for this season should be get to the tournament and get to the second weekend. That's it. Who fucking cares about the Big Ten title in the regular season or the fucking tournament? And I've been fucking saying this every year. They've already done both. Now we're going to focus on getting to the second weekend. I mean, you don't you... – it's still nice to Wisconsin's five and zero, and Purdue's way better than this team. They're not going to win. He said, "But honestly, though, thank you." I see, I responded before I saw that, yeah, but that's that's that. it. What the fuck? For somebody that is complaining about people overreacting, you are overreacting to the overreactors. Immensely. Yeah, I don't think that's flipping how it, it works. on them. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> well, it's just like if they're not going to win the Big Ten. What does it matter? Why, why are people so – I oh, there's so many people I want to unfollow on Twitter. 
so fucking bad because of how stupid their opinions are. This is also what happens when everybody's all focused on a player who's not going to come back, thinking they're going to come back. He ain't coming back, guys, okay? So quit fucking asking about it. It's like Nick Saban at the halftime in that one game. Quit asking. Is the uh, Packers game on? Like 15 minutes. I'd rather they win today than the Illinois win anyway. So if that's how it works, <laughs> that's fine with me. One's a playoff game. One's a bullshit Big Ten Sunday afternoon game. And uh, I think I got all the viewers to leave. I think you did. But guess what? If they did leave, they're fucking losers. And they don't know anything. So fuck them. I don't care. Uh... Anomaly game, I think. Sleepy Sunday game, fair. Focus on Michigan. Clean up the defense. See, he's an Oregon guy. He knows ball. Both ends. So uh, They're not going to shoot that bad again, right? There's no way. They can't. That I was mean, they could. Awful. <laughs> I mean, maybe the anomaly was <laughs> them shooting well for us. They got a pretty big Four sample games. size of shooting I know. well. Um, yeah, this is going to hurt the Ken Palm for sure. Offensively, they're going to drop to maybe 15. They might drop to like 15 on Ken Palm after being like ninth. Oregon will be, yeah, Oregon's been playing good ball. I think they're first in the Pac-12. Pac-12 makes no sense. You got Arizona losing to Utah. You got, uh, or Arizona, did Arizona lose to Utah or Washington State? I think they lost to Washington State. Utah did something, though. Or Utah destroyed UCLA, but I thought they won another game after that. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Oh. It's a good game for the first five minutes. Do you think they stopped? They should have put more of an emphasis on getting the ball to Goody and letting him shoot. Because he went three for three, then missed one a couple possessions later. Then it just seemed like he stopped taking threes. Yeah, the, uh, he took one late in the shot clock and one jumping inside. How, how, how many more did he take after he started? Three for three. Three more, maybe? I don't know. I don't feel like that enough. Wasn't enough. I don't know. I did, like People are learning to double the mask. There's the mask consequences. not been a great passer when he gets double. There's consequences of passing up good looks. Yeah. They did a lot. Well, and that's why in and when Damas does find guys, they gotta be able to make shots. That's why how many how many assists do you think Damask had this game? I bet it was less than five, because guys couldn't make shots. Damask had uh one assist. One assist. Such a confusing Damas game. He has 26 <laughs> points, four rebounds, one assist, five turnovers, nine of 19 in the field, 50% from three, and then 100% from the line. And he's got to be player of the game, right? He really kind of sunk him. Could be goody. Goody three for seven from three. Only players in double figures, goody and Damas. That can't happen. No. You can have four guys at least. Gary only had seven. He was two of ten from the field. Hawkins at eight. He was two of six from the field. Rogers at five. He was two of eight from the field. Harmon had one point. He was over seven from the field. Same life for the Packers game. Ethan, mine. No, I am not. I don't have a camera anymore. I'm embarrassing myself. I, I was going to say you should see. I I can imagine what Ethan's like for a Packers game. It's business. It's going to be interesting. How many left-handed layups did Quincy miss today? 30? 40? <laughs> I, I counted at least three. What got blocked, though? They covered Goody better after the first three threes. His shots were not pop and shoot. They were more contested. You got to figure out a way to make space and get that adjusted. That's on Brad. Now, how, you, how you get them space? You make off the ball screens. I don't really deny. You need a better offense, Jeff. <sighs> yep, I'm, I'm there too. <laughs> it's unfortunate, you know. It's a tough one. What can you do? 
a whole lot now. I'd like to see what Brad has to say post game. Tearing into the boys, being like, "We gotta be, we gotta be sharper than that." The entire country, in every way, has a problem with staying in the moment. You know. We have to look for something bigger. We have to draw more conclusions about stuff. We have to not enjoy a moment. We gotta take our phones out and put it's it on camera. Huh. We just didn't well enough. Yeah, I mean that's it. I think <clears throat> their face played well. I think they rebounded the ball well. The White no on the podium. We had it in our hands that kind of just took it away in pivotal parts of the game. You know, the rebounding battle I think was even. Um, yeah, then I turned the ball over the thirty-five game. times. We couldn't, we couldn't scare that's good. Uh, end of the game, so and, uh, they were able to capitalize and get easy buckets off that. Stupid to postpone the Bill Bill Steelers game or the right move. I don't know. It's pretty insane weather, but uh, what happened to this country? You know. Uh, I think you know. Just keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, we we got good shots. I mean. Quincy game downhill has been one of the most productive right. things that we've had all year. And, you know, he just missed some ones right around the bucket and the basket. Shutting her down. Yeah, they missed a lot of shots that they usually make. Put that way. I don't know necessarily if it's a snowball effect or just. Brad's, um, Brad's a moron. Luke's a moron. Marcus is a moron. They'll suck. He's kidding. Can't post up Hawkins inside. He's too. I mean, dude, we gotta get some spell check going here. This is bad. Jeff just wants Dane to play man. Yeah. Take out our best defender to have Dane play more. All right, I'll still be next week. Uh, Wednesday or Tuesday. Thanks, guys.